What's going on everybody? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. In this video, we're going to be CPU mining Ravencoin Lite, and we're going to be following the tutorial by One Ducking Miner. I assume his name's Mike. This guy, fantastic. So I'm going to be following his video, show you guys how to do it just a little bit slower. He does everything in under five minutes. Super simple. Please go over here, like and subscribe to this guy because he obviously knows his stuff. So let's get right into it. We go over here to his channel in his description below, which I'm going to copy and try to put into my description. There is a mega file that holds the GPU mineable files, the CPU mineable files and the wallet. So we're going to click on this. We're going to accept all cookies and we are going to download the zip file. So this is going to take a little bit of time. All right, zip complete. That took under a minute tops. So we're gonna open it up. All right, so here's the file all opened. We're gonna click on it. We're gonna click extract all. Show files when complete. So we can X out the other window. We're gonna open up the extracted file. So what he does first is he pulls out the wallet and has you guys download the wallet. So basically, as you can see, inside this folder, it says Linux, Mac, and Windows. Whatever system you're using, that's the wallet for your specific system so obviously download the one you need we're doing windows and we already downloaded this you guys can see it in my other video i'll link it above so we're not gonna redo that but once you guys download the wallet open it up this thing is going to basically take some time to download all of the transaction history and stuff from everybody else in the world that's using the same wallet because it needs to uh, cooperate with the uh, other miners basically so once you guys do that, up here in file, there is a receiving address. So what you're gonna do is come right down here and click new. You're gonna add a wallet, name it, and then once you add it and save it, it's gonna give you an address. So you're just gonna right click, copy the address. All you need to do, exit it out, put the wallet down. Now let's go to the miners. Then we're gonna go to CPU, gonna open that up. So once this opens up, what he does is clicks on any one of these bad files and gets the miner going because when the miner opens up, it's going to tell you which one you need to use. So we're gonna double click on this one and just see what happens. Click more info, run anyways. And right here, it says CPU features AVX2 and AES. So we wanna remember those two things. So AVX2 and AES. So right here, AVX2, and we don't need to worry about the other one. We'll just deal with AVX2 because that's the first thing. Typically, you want to go with just the first one that's in line. So AVX2. So right here, we are going to click on this, right click it, go to edit, more info, run anyways. We're going to highlight this wallet address and we're going to paste in the one that we just copied from our wallet. Then I'm going to highlight the worker name and I'm gonna put main PC with no spaces. I'll just leave the uh, password as X, doesn't really matter. Then I'll hit control S to save the file. I'm gonna exit it out. All right, and then basically all we're gonna do is double click on this miner. That's it, nothing else to it. So as you can see, it literally tells you again, the AVX2 and the AES it also has the processor I'm using an i7-9700K the amount of cores or threads it says eight of eight the miner is actually mining on all eight right now you can actually adjust the amount of cores or threads that you're using on the CPU to mine with inside the bat file and I'll show you guys that now I just wanted to prove that we have an accepted share so this miner is working we're gonna X this out so now we're gonna come back here we're gonna go to edit again and we're going to hit space we're going to do a dash t space and seven because i have eight cores on this processor so you need at least one core to basically surf the web and do whatever you have to do on google or just anything on the internet you're going to need at least one core free so i'm only going to mine on seven of those eight cores and we're going to save this file again and now I'm gonna show you guys that this works. I'm gonna double click on the miner. As you can see right here, it says seven of eight miner threads started. So there we go. 
Miner is now back up and running with the seven cores instead of eight. Let's get an accepted share and then we'll call this video a uh, success. And there we have it. There's the accepted share. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. There's really nothing to it. So this guy, Mike, over at One Ducking Miner, please don't forget to go over there, like and subscribe, show this guy a little bit of love because he actually brought this video to you guys and I followed his instructions. So the least I can do is put a link to his channel down in the description below. I'm going to try to copy and paste that same link with all of those files down in my description below as well. And uh, yeah, all the credit goes to this guy. And uh, real quick, Mike, if you are watching this video, thank you personally. I'm going to be adding your YouTube channel to our Discord bot. So all of your videos that you post will now be dropped in the Misfit Mining Discord to hopefully get you some more views and some more subs. It's the least I could do. And just like the last video, I'm going to leave a link to the CPU file in the Misfit Mining Discord as well. But as always, guys, I appreciate you all for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like button on the way out. And if you're not already subscribed, please do consider it. I try to drop a video almost every single day. Please stay safe, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.